Now the second thing that I wanted to share with you guys is an amazing extension, a plugin, which you can add in your Visual Studio code and it will surely speed up your development speed. In fact, this extension was suggested to us by our own subscriber itself. His name is Charu D, I guess. In a comment, he mentioned that we should use this extension, which is known as Live Preview or Live Server, I guess. So I installed that extension and I tried it out and it's really amazing. It's definitely going to be improving our programming speed and help us perform smart coding. So let me just show you that extension. So by default, you probably would not have it. Just go on the extensions and type in Live Server. So when you type this, this is that extension which comes up, which I have installed. Let me just show it to you. If you click on it, you get the details of that extension. It's by Ritwik Day and it is used by many people. So you just click install over here. You'll get an option. And after installing, just reload this Visual Studio code. You'll get an option of that as well. So what this live server does is it executes your HTML and JavaScript code on the fly. And you can see the changes live happening without you refreshing or saving your files. So let me just show you an example or demo of that. So I've already installed it. I'm just going to show you the demo. So you can see we already have a default.html file over here and I've written document.write hello world. I'm just printing. So this is something that we did in the previous video also. So this is that default.html. I'm just going to run it. Okay. So as you can see, I've printed hello world and in the body I've written hello world. Now, if I want to add something else, let's say I want to add a break tag and I want to say H2 or H3 and say Telesco learnings. So now what I have to do is I have to save this file and then go to the browser and refresh this and only then the output will be shown, right? So this is basically a hassle by jumping between two different things. Like you have to go from the Visual Studio editor and you have to go to the output browser and again refresh it. You have to save this file and this switching is a little bit irritating. You know, you have to go back and forth between the editor as well as the browser. So what this live wire extension does is once you've installed this, you'll get an option of go live over here. Okay. So when you click on this, Another tab will be opened over here and you can see there is an IP address over here. So what this extension does is it creates a server on your system and this server is constantly checking your file for changes. So if I just copy this and paste it again over here, you can see by default this got refreshed over here and this line got added. I didn't even have to refresh this. So this is a real great amazing feature and it might sound trivial. You know, you might think, okay, it's just one less thing to do and you just have to refresh it. But then when you are going in your real world, environment when you are into development scenario when you join a company these small tricks and tips are definitely used a lot to enhance your programming you know you want to be a smart programmer you don't want to be a normal programmer so all these tips and tricks are definitely used so let me just show it to you again just i'm copying and pasting this once more and here we go we already got the output over here so we don't have to save this we don't have to refresh this now one last thing that you have to do in your visual studio code which is not compulsory of course that you have to go in your settings and in the settings, just search for save, scroll a little bit down and you can see that I have turned on my auto save after delay. So what this does is if you are not doing anything after 500 milliseconds, then the file will be automatically saved. So I've turned this on so that I don't have to save it again and again. So go to the settings. You can turn on this after delay and give your milliseconds. You can give more than 500. You can give 1000 for one second, 2000 for two seconds and so on. Once you turn this on, you never have to save your file again it gets auto saved in the background and once it gets auto saved in the background, this output also gets refreshed because of this live server plugin, right? It is running on port 550. So this is that port. So thanks for watching guys. In the next video, we'll move ahead with this programming series of JavaScript. We'll take a look at some other concepts. This video was just about setting up your visual studio so that you get the best programming experience. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.